We'll start here on the user ID screen. This is where you will log into the system with your custom password using the pin pad in the bottom right hand corner. Here we can set up user accounts, customize permissions, and set restrictions based on who is logged into the software. For instance, you may allow a manager to have access to reporting and comps, whereas general wait staff may be restricted from accessing these features. I'll log in as the admin to get started. Here we are at the main sales screen. You can see near the top we have our departments, which represent different sections of the menu. Under each department are the corresponding menu items. Near the bottom of the screen, you can see we have a customized table layout, which represent different sections of the restaurant. This particular restaurant has a bar, a patio, and a main dining area. Let's walk through a basic scenario. A customer comes into the bar and sits down at seat 103 and is ready to order a drink. We can select that seat because it has a green box next to it, which represents a vacant table. Orange boxes mean there is an open ticket at that table and it is occupied. So let's select seat 103 and open a new ticket. We can now navigate to the beer department, select his drink, and push the green arrow to send the drink order to the bar printer. Now let's say this person is meeting up with some friends and he decides to join them at table 108. We can navigate back to the bar layout, select seat 103, and choose move, and move his ticket over to the new table. Mint will then show that ticket 103 is once again vacant. To get back to the main sales screen and begin adding items, we'll simply load the ticket. I'll add a few items here to show you how. You can see if we go to red meat, and select the T-bone steak, it will prompt us for our modifiers, which are choices a customer can make that aren't associated with an upcharge. Common modifiers are cooking temperatures and side items. If I select the cheeseburger, it'll prompt us for our supplements. Supplements can be associated with an upcharge, such as add bacon. It can also be customizations to an order, such as no tomato or extra pickle. It'll then prompt us for our modifiers, such as cooking temperature and side item. We have a few options from the ticket preview window. We can delete a line if added by mistake, we can apply a comp, and we can even create an impromptu kitchen message for special orders and requests. With printer routing, we can select the green download button to send hot food back to the kitchen printer and cold drinks to the bar. When the customer is ready to pay, we can navigate to their table and pull up the ticket. We can select the credit card icon for a fast tender, which prompts us to insert the card into the EMV device and process payment, or we can navigate to the main payment screen by selecting the wallet icon. At the main sales screen, you can see an itemized receipt preview and the service fee being applied. We can also split tickets as necessary using the split tab in the top left hand corner. If the customer is paying with the card, the amount due is $40.99. If the customer is paying with cash, they will receive a cash discount and the amount due is $39.41. Let's say the customer is paying with cash. We will simply select the amount of cash provided. Let's say $50. We'll select cash. And you can see the cash discount has been applied to their purchase, $1.58. We can now select finish to print the receipt, kick open the cash drawer, and send them on their way. Let's look at a couple of different feature sets within Mint. The first one is the customer tab. The customer tab allows us to implement basic customer tracking. For instance, we can push insert here to add a new customer. And here we can put in their name, their address, their phone number, email. We can apply a discount to their customer account if they're a family member, say, and they receive 50% off all items. Mint also has 25 different reports built within the software. We can navigate up here to the reporting tab. You can see we have an X report which displays all the end of the day information. You can break down the report by tender type or by menu department. You can view itemized sales as well as sales per hour. This is a very good snapshot for the business owner at the end of the day, and we can set these up to be emailed directly to the business owner. 
They can also be exported to PDF, Excel, or sent to a standard printer. Other basic reports include monthly sales, item sales, department sales, and tender media sales. And we can dig deeper into advanced statistics, which include yearly sales comparisons, profit margins, hourly sales, and so on. We also have basic inventory functions built within Mint. We can adjust our inventory by clicking on the Documents tab, Stock Documents, and Inventory, clicking Insert, and here's where we can adjust our stock levels. For instance, we could select Coke, we could select 80 units of Coke that we just got in, and then select that again in the window, and you can see we have now added 80 units of Coca-Cola to our inventory. We also can set minimum stock levels you can see here in the main sales screen, we can navigate to the soda, and we can see that we have red boxes around the Coke Zero, Nestle, and Fanta Orange. That indicates that we have set our minimum stock levels on those items, and we have fallen below those levels. The main sales screen will illuminate those items with a red box on the sales screen. We can also set restrictions where if we go below a certain level, the sales staff or the wait staff will no longer be able to sell those items. We also can easily adjust and add menu items within Mint by going to the Setup tab, Items and Price Levels, and Items. Here's where we can add departments and add menu items. For instance, we could go to the Burgers tab and click Insert on the right-hand side to add a new burger. Here we can put the name, the sales tax, our standard price, our happy hour price, as well as an image if we'd like to. We can either select an image from the stock catalog built within Mint, or we can also upload our own images or simply color code it to how we see fit. Mint has a full range of features and resources, including voiding transactions, processing refunds, creating discounts, adding tips, and more. Mint also comes with 24 seven support and an unlimited lifetime warranty on all equipment. This has been a basic demonstration of the Mint Pro software for table service restaurants. Thank you.